this is Cindy Blair. I'm one of the educators at the Alexandria Museum of Art and I am coming to you to bring you another AMOA Family Friday. Now every week we have been bringing you art projects based on children's books because now at the museum we have a beautiful exhibition called Childhood Classics 100 Years of Children's Book Illustrations and one of the illustrators in that exhibition is Maurice Sendak. And you may know him as the writer and illustrator of Where the Wild Things Are, which is one of his most famous books. Um, I actually have a book today that um, he did way before that, back in 1956. And he actually illustrated this book for an author named Ruth Krauss. And I'm going to read this for you today. It's called I Want to Paint My Bathroom Blue. I want to paint my bathroom blue. My papa won't let me paint it blue. Once I painted a rocking chair blue, it was pretty. I want to paint the kitchen yellow. And my sitting room white with turtles and my ceilings green. And I'd put a window here and here and here and here and here. It's a lot of windows. And on the outside walls of my house should be a big picture, a funny big picture, like the mother is blushing because her two children put their feet in the cake. My mother would do more than blush if I put my feet in the cake, y'all. And I'll sprinkle seeds all over the land. I'll make a white door with a little pink doorknob. And a song about the doorknob goes, a doorknob, a doorknob, a dear little doorknob, a dear knob, a dear knob, a door little dear knob. And stairs going up to another floor. And upstairs, a horse is in the bedroom. Of course. I'll make the house I'll make a house the kind I dream about, not the kind I see. It's a house like a rainbow, and my friends all live with me there. And someday will be grass and trees. And I'd make an ocean. All right. Well, that was a funny little book, wasn't it? He had a really, really big imagination about the place where he lives. So um, what are some things that you can imagine? If you could create any kind of space you'd want to create, what kind of space would you create? What would be there? Who would be there with you? So today we are actually going to talk about color and we're gonna use our imaginations to create something that we can hang in the space where we live. So let's get started. Okay, so for today's project, you are going to need a copy of this color wheel. Um, I'm providing a link so that you can um, click on it and either just have it up while you're doing the lesson or um, you can actually print it if you'd like to, if, you, if you're able to do that. But um, either way, you'll have a copy of that to look at. And we're going to need something to draw on. Um, I've got some just regular uh, drawing paper right here. You could use copy paper or any kind of paper that you have available. Um, you're going to need a pencil and going to need something to color with. Now I've got Sharpie markers here, but maybe you have crayons, maybe you have colored pencils, um, even watercolor if you have that. Whatever you have to, um, to put color onto your picture is fine. Um, you could use any of those methods and it would be okay. But you want to make sure that you have a red, an orange, a yellow, a green, a blue, and a violet or purple and a black. So just make sure you have those colors and then we'll get... Okay, so if we look at our color wheel, we have the primary colors on the color wheel. Do you know which colors those are? Those are red, yellow, and blue. No other colors can, can be put together to make those colors. These are the three colors that make all the colors. So, um, if we take red and yellow, we make orange. 
if we take red and blue, what do you think we make? What do you think? We make violet. What was, what's going to happen if we put yellow and blue together? What do you think? We're going to have green. That's right. So orange, violet or purple and green are our secondary colors. So we have primary colors, yellow, red, blue, and secondary colors, orange, violet, and green. Okay, now we have intermediate colors. Can you guess what colors those might be? So those are the colors in between the secondary colors and the primary colors. So for example, if you put red and, or red and orange together, you're gonna get a red orange. If we put violet and red together, what do you think we'll get? That's right, we're gonna get red violet. And if we put blue and violet together, we're gonna get a blue violet. So if you put a secondary and a primary together, you get an intermediate color. Now, all of the colors um, like brown and black and gray, those are what you call your neutral colors. Um, they're represented by gray in the middle of the color wheel. Um, so, in addition to that, there are some other things we can talk about. Now, we can get pretty detailed with this, but we're just going to keep it simple today. If you look, look, let's, for example, look at red. Go all the way across the color wheel, directly across, and you have green. Now, they're complementary colors. Um, so, what would be yellow's complement? What's the complementary color for yellow? That's right, violet. Um, what about orange? Yes, blue. I actually really love blue and orange together. I think it's really pretty. So those are colors, and you're, I want you to put those colors next to each other and see what they do. When you color one, when you color, um, let's say you color yellow next to violet, it really makes those colors pop. It really, they contrast. They, they're very, they're so different from each other that they make each other sort of brighter. So notice that when you do that. Now, colors that are right next to each other on the color wheel, those are, are analogous colors. Um, so red and violet and red violet, they're analogous colors. So if it's next to each other on the color wheel, it's gonna be analogous. Now. I find sometimes when you put these colors together, they blend really nicely. Um, I think that uh, when you put blue and green together, it's really, really nice. Um, so that's, that's a nice thing to do as well. Um, and so those are some different color schemes we're gonna think about today as we make our work. So you wanna keep um, this handy or keep um, you know, the picture up maybe on your screen so you can see it. But um, so we're gonna work with that today. So I'm gonna put it right where we can see it while we're working, okay? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our piece of paper. We are going to fold it in four parts. Now, we have four equal parts. What are these shapes? Are these, what are these shapes? Are they circles? Are they squares? No, they're rectangles, right? Okay, so we have four equal rectangles. Now, in each rectangle, we're gonna draw the same pattern. Um, and it can be any pattern you want. It can be complicated or it can be simple. I'm gonna keep mine pretty simple. And I'm gonna start in the center with sort of a circle shape because I really like circular designs. They could also be called radial designs because they radiate out from the center. <laughs> Let's put some zigzaggy shapes. Whatever I do in one part, I'm gonna do in the other. It doesn't have to be exactly perfectly the same, but as close as you can get it. Okay. Now, let's see. Now I'm gonna make. 
make some wavy lines. Just think about all the different kinds of lines you can make. You could make wavy lines. What are some other kinds of lines you could make? You could make zigzaggy lines. You could make, what is, what's another kind of line? Yeah, and you could also make a straight line. I'm gonna turn my paper as I need to. So just think about all the different lines and shapes that you could make. Notice it's not perfect, but it's getting there. It's getting to be kind of cool. And I'm gonna do some polka dots because I love polka dots. Okay, so that's my design. All right, so I think, so for each rectangle, so we still have it in, we still have four different rectangles here. And for each one, I'm gonna choose a different color scheme. Now, what were the color schemes we had? What were the different kinds of color groups that we talked about, right? We talked about primary, secondary, and what was the one where primary, what color, kind of colors did primary and secondary colors combine to make? Right, intermediate. And then we also had complementary colors and analogous colors. So that's five different color schemes. So if you need to, you can pull out your, um, your color wheel. And remember, primary, yellow, red, blue, and secondary, orange, purple, green. And then those colors mix together to make colors like blue violet, red violet, red orange, blue green, yellow orange, and yellow green. And those are our intermediate colors. Now, what would be the complementary color for red? Do you remember? That's right, green. So if a color is across from the other color on the color wheel, that is gonna be its complementary color. Okay. So let's sort of see what happens when we put these colors together, okay? So in one rectangle, in each rectangle, you're gonna choose a different color scheme. Keep, you can keep this next to you if you need to think about it. Or keep it up on your computer screen or whatever you need to do. I am going to start with my primary colors. So this rectangle right here is gonna be nothing but red and yellow, and what else? That's right, blue. And each shape is gonna be colored with a primary color. Now don't worry about your pencil line showing because when you're done, you're gonna actually go back over it with, go over your lines with black. That's gonna make the design really pretty. So as you can see, I finished my primary color side and I've outlined it in black. I uh, colored it first and then outlined it in black. And now I'm going to do, so what should I do next? I think next I'm going to do 
secondary colors. So let me get my, what are my secondary colors? Do you remember? Orange, purple, and green. And I think I'm gonna do it across, across the way from the diagonal across. You can do it however you want, but you might make a different um, color scheme choice. This is what I'm gonna do this time. And I'm gonna color all that in. Okay, so you can see I've done my secondary colors now. I have my primary colors, and I think that right up here, I'm going to do my complementary colors. So remember, those are colors that are right across from each other on the color wheel. And I think I'm gonna make myself a little bit of a rule. So I need all my colors for that. And my rule is going to be that I can have, that I can use all the colors that I want to use, but I need to make sure that when I have a color, it's complement is next to it. Okay, so that's gonna be my rule for this one. Um, and sometimes I end up breaking my rules, but that's okay. Those are the kind of rules you can break and no one gets hurt. All right, so I'm gonna start with, well, let's start with blue. We don't have any blue in the center. Now, I just did blue, so what comes next? Orange, right. So I have finished my complementary color section and up here I am going to do an analogous color pattern. So that is going to be three colors that are close to each other on the, um, that are right next to each other on the color wheel. Now I have choices. I could either do blue and green and yellow or green and blue and purple. Now, if I did green and blue and purple, those would all be what's considered cool colors. Um, or I could do purple, red, and orange. Or I could do yellow, orange, and red. Now, those are your warm colors. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do yellow, orange, and red. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. You can make a different choice, of course. Let me get my yellow, my orange, my red. Okay. And I'm just gonna start coloring. So I have finished my um, color design, and um, I want you to look at yours now. I want you to look at your different color combinations, and look at, choose a color like say orange, and I want you to notice how it looks in each section next to the different colors. Um, do you notice 
how orange looks next to red. Is it different than how it appears next to purple or next to green? How do these colors look when they're next to different colors? Think about that and um, enjoy your beautiful drawing. Now that you know a little bit more about the color wheel and the different colors, maybe you could make a game out of it with your family. Maybe you can go into the yard if you're able or even just around the house and maybe make a game of how many people can find the most red things. Um, maybe you get extra points if you can find um, an analogous color to go with it. Maybe you find something that's orange and something that's red. So you could make a game out of the color wheel. So um, that's just a little, um, little bit of extra something for you. But um, just think about where you're gonna hang your beautiful drawing now. And we'd love to see your drawings at the museum. So you can send them, you can have your parents um, take a picture of them and send that to cindy at the museum.org or um, families, you can also put those on a comment on our Facebook page um, to the video. You can comment on the video with a picture. We would love to see what everybody did today. Well, thanks for joining us for another AMOA Family Friday. Um, let us know if there's a children's book that you would like to see in an upcoming episode. And um, you guys take care and be well, and we'll see you again next Friday.